you know, Ford, who doesn't even make cars anymore, is going to go back into making e-bike? This is not the first foray by Ford into the e-bike space. For, they're going to be offering three models, one uh, sort of a off-road version that going to go with the Bronco, and then they have the uh, two other versions that are designed to go with, interestingly, the gas-powered Mustang. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm here today with founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How's it going today, Bill? Ah, uh, es geht ganz gut, danke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the big Ford announcement. Oh, man, this is like earth shattering here. You know, Ford, who doesn't even make cars anymore, is going to go back into making e-bike? Yep. I don't know if they've ever made e-bikes. This would be a first. Let me give you some background, Okay. This is not the first foray by Ford, do you like that alliteration, <laughs> into the e-bike space. Okay. I should have worn my think hat down here today. But back in the early 2000s, Ford had a little startup called Think. Okay. I think yeah. we've talked about it before. Right. And, and well, it was T-H exclamation point N-K. <laughs> That's the way they, they spelled it. Oh, okay. So they had that, and they had uh, a uh, small city electric car, not unlike my my Fiat, uh, although it was a two-seater rather than mine. It's like a two-plus. Then they had a, a neighborhood electric vehicle, and then they had a Think bicycle. And, of course, none of these are actually made by the, uh, by the Ford Motor Company, but they do like they're doing with this one. They're contracting with a supplier to provide them with the bike. The, that's the first one. The first Think electric bike right around the circa 2001, 2002. Then later, and this would be uh, maybe 10 years later now, they roll out a new, in fact, it's a, a series of electric bikes. They actually had a competition within Ford Motor Engineering to come up with a electric bike. And so they never went into production, but they did uh, have it available. I was able to uh, see it. Can't remember if I rode it or not. No, I don't think I did. But I saw it at the Ford's uh, California Development Center. Um, so that's their third foray into uh, our second foray. And now, of course, we have this one with a company called N Plus. Uh, and they're, offer they're gonna be offering three models uh, one uh, sort of a off-road version that going to go with the Bronco, and then they have the uh, two other versions that are designed to go with, interestingly, the gas-powered Mustang. I don't quite understand that. Why do they all do with the uh, you know the Mach-E, but it's with the gas-powered? Uh, I guess I get it. It's got a little bit different features, you know, the, than the uh, the Bronco one, but essentially it's the same bike. It's what's called a Class Three which means that it's capable of uh, hitting uh, 28 miles an hour. And that course, doing that means it's restricted. It's depending on where you are, what uh, legal jurisdiction you're within, you can ride that, you know, you're re required to only ride it on, on the road and you can't ride on sidewalks and trails and things like that. Yeah, it's an interesting article from The Verge. It says uh, other car companies like GM, Porsche, Jeep, and Polestar have tried to do the same thing. Yep. Ford says its bikes will be unique and then that they're tied into, you know, the Bronco and the Mustang. The Bronco will come with a 750-watt hub motor, generates 85 nanometers of torque. Yeah, which is the legal, basically that's the legal limit. You can have on an e-bike. And then they have a suspen dual suspension system that Ford has branded the GOAT for goes over any type of terrain. But, but that might be GOAT with two cheese. Right, exactly. Yeah, the, the author points that out. So, And they'll have a motorcycle-inspired saddle. The Bronco e-bike, like you said, is type 3. Two Mustang e-bikes. Um, 2.6 inch tires. I don't recall seeing anything about pricing. Neither bike will be cheap. The Bronco will start at 4,500 with 350 applied for a paint color other than the standard Area 51. The Mustang bike will sell for 4,000 with a similar option to choose a different paint beyond the base carbonized metallic gray. Both can be pre-ordered now at the company's website. Yeah, that's, you know, that's probably, these are the kind of, if you will, uh, I don't know if you call them collector's items, but they're sort of more kind of a prestige thing. I mean, there are e-bikes that are 
way more expensive than that. You know, they're up in the uh, two-figure range, right? Ten thousand and above. And but most most e-bikes are somewhere in the twenty-five hundred range. Although you can get them for, uh, you know, for for under a thousand. Um, so this puts it a little bit at the higher end of the uh, more affordable e-bike range. But then again, you know, if you can afford a Bronco for what are what are Broncos going for these days? You know. Forty-five, fifty thousand or more. Yes, it, it, it's fun to see Ford doing this. I hope, I hope it goes be. I mean, like I said, they've done this three times that I'm aware of. There could have been others too, in, in the history of things. But yeah, let, let's let's. The the issue is is that a lot of times they try to sell these through the dealers, and the dealers have absolutely zero incentive of <laughs> of getting involved in selling something that they might make a couple hundred bucks off of. You know. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.